All right, Husqvarna TS242XD review. All right, quick review on this. Uh, I bought this mower because of one reason. It's a stand-up mower. It's not a um, zero turn. A lot of people want a zero turn. That's fine for you, but not for me. I have talked to so many people. They have so many problems with them, and uh, I just don't want to deal with it right now until they get all the bugs worked out on the mid-range to lower range uh, zero turn and uh, those mowers. So anyway, I bought a tractor. Uh, I went through a lot of research on this. I had Cub Cadet on the, on the view. I had the, uh, um, the, the, the John Deere. All of them just had horrible reviews. And I went and looked at the motors and stuff. I never even heard of some of these companies that make these motors. And I went with this one because the Kawasaki motor. The Kawasaki motor is on Arians. It's on, um, let's see, uh, Kubota. Kubota uses the Kawasaki motor. And that was the mower I wanted to get. But I cannot spend eight grand for a mower. I spent a little over three grand for this guy here. It's been a good mower. I throw, I mow over three acres with it. It does the job, easy controls. You got, you got speed and you crank it up in mid range. You can crank it up higher to really cut through the thick stuff. You have your blade drop here, you know, you pull it up to drop the blades and then push it down to turn them off. You have your headlights here. Okay. You have your brake here. All you have to do is just push your brake all the way forward, push this up and then the lock, let go of this pedal the here, and then this will lock right here. So you can crank up the mower and run it for three to four to five minutes before you drive because you want it to have it circulating and uh, nice and warm before you start you know, beating up this mower. So anyway, you have your cruise control. I do not recommend cruise control for anybody, but that's the way they do it. They put cruise control on here. Your ignition switch, I'll try to get a good view of the ignition switch here. This is to uh, turn it on. You get to this point here, you're gonna crank it up. Your choke is right here, okay? Right by the steering wheel, the choke, okay? So you turn on ignition, you crank it up, you give it a little bit of choke, you turn the choke back off. And if you ever have to go backwards, you go into this position here for backwards. And then you, when you go back forward, turn it back to forward again, okay? You have your, 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 your forward and your reverse. If you do not have it in this position here and you hit the reverse, the mower will die on you. Okay, and uh, pretty much here on the back, you've got a lever here. Let's say you get stuck and you need to tow it out. You just pull this lever out. That releases the uh, axle, so it'll just roll easily. You just put it back in, drop it down, and it's good to go for, uh, it's, it's now in gear again. You got your gas fill, you got about five gallon tank here. You've got your deck here. You can drop your deck from high to super low. It's real easy, okay? And uh, it's easy to clean. It has a uh, clean spot here. So you can hook up the hose. It comes in the kit. It comes with a drainage tube for your oil, but it also comes for a kit for this uh, little connector for your, your hose to uh, wash out your deck on this side because it's really hard to get to. The other side, you're going to have to wash yourself. Just lift up the flap and start washing. Now, the other thing I had to put up here real quick, put out real quick here, is here's your air filter right here. Okay, mine's about due to be changed. I've got it on order. That's right in there. Easy disconnect, easy uh, a reconnect. Here's your oil. To check your oil, you're gonna first take the stick out and wipe it off. Then you're gonna put it back in clean and not screw it back in. Just drop it till it's touching uh, cleanly to the, uh, the cap or the screw head itself and then pull it back up and that's how you check your oil. You do not screw it back in and then check your oil. You have it already unscrewed, wiped off, put it back in and that's how you check your oil for being too low. Okay, and it does use a little oil, but it's not bad. Okay, your oil filter's right here. Your drainage is right below it. It'll, it's all in the book. It's real easy to understand, real easy to do. Okay, now the seat here has a micro switch in it. If you get up at any time, this thing's gonna shut off unless you set the brake, the parking brake, and put the brake on. Then you can get off the mower, and the deck has to be off also. If your deck's not off, it'll just shut off. So it's a safety switch for your safety, and it's a good thing here. Now, only two bad things about this mower here so far. I got stuck, and I used these handles here, okay? When I pulled on this handle and this handle over here, the bolts literally underneath here just broke off. You can see one of the bolts right there. There's another one over there. They just tore right out. I put longer bolts in there, so be aware of that. These are for hand holds. I thought they were for pulling the mower, but now that I've got them secured real good, I can use them for pulling the mower out of a, out of a ditch or whatever. But that, that's one thing, the bolts came loose. I've been warned about tires and all those other things by other reviews, but I've had no problems. Just the bolts came loose. And then the one more thing came loose was the right blade over here. The right blade literally just came off. 
okay? Did a little bit of damage to the undercarriage. So what I can say to you is if you get one of these great little mowers, get under there, have a glove, and tighten up both these things as tight as you can get them. Don't go too tight, don't break the bolts off, but get them snug, because they're not snug when they come. Because I even after I tighten this one up over here, this one was loose also, but it wasn't loose enough to go flying like this one did. And uh, I, you know, I've talked to Husqvarna about it. I'm still you know, in a situation with them about it, but I don't want to get into that. But the thing is, tighten them up. It's a 5.8 socket. Before you run this thing, tighten that sucker snug. I don't know what the foot pounds on it, but I use a just regular arm strength tight. Grab that blade with a glove and pull it tight with the 5.8 eight trans. But besides that, this has been a great mower. I've had no other problems besides that. I've had a little, a little bit of oil. Um, and that's about it to the engine. Uh, I'm doing the oil changes on a timely fashion. So everything's been working great with this thing. I like what I purchased for a mid to low range riding mower. I mean, a lot of people go that's 3000 bucks. That's a lot. And it is a lot for me too. But I can say for the money compared to the ones that are way up there in the six, seven and 10,000 or more range, this is not a bad little mower to do the job. Doesn't do like a zero turn, but I've just had too many people tell me they have problems with the zero turns or they say, you know, if they get bad, you, you replace it every two years. <laughs> I can't replace a mower every two years. I want this thing to last like my Honda mower, my Electrolux I got from Costco. I had that thing for 21 years and gave it away. So I'll tell you right now, that's what my review is and that's what I'm gonna stick with. It works for me. Good luck, God bless.